Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get current date and time in Android Studio. It's pretty simple. We will write only four lines of code. First, inside on create method, let's get the calendar with calendar dot get instance. Calendar is a calendar type to get the date and time. Write dot and next time. Time is a date type. OK. Now let's format the date. Create date format variable is equals date format Java text. Then also get instance and let's make it string for this write dot format and then add our calendar. Now we will display the received date on the screen for this create the text view date text view and find it by id find view by id type is text view and let's find it with resources dot id dot and let's add id of our text view go to the activity main dot xml here turn on split mode and we see our text view with hello world let's rename it it will be date let's increase our font text size is 28 for example sp this looks better and let's add the id id plus id and name it for example xml text date return to our main activity and write xml text date we have a strange error let's rewrite it r dot id dot xml text date Let's rebuild our project to clean errors and rewrite once more. RID.XML text date. That's OK. And finally, we display the date value in our text view. Write date text view, then select text is equals our date format. Date format. Let's check. Run the app. And we have the date. We can change the date display option for this. In get date instance, write date format dot and choose the format. For example, we can use full date dot full. Let's check and we see the new option for displaying the date. Now, how to display the time on the screen? For this, instead date format, we will use time format. And instead get date instance, we will use get time instance. We can remove this. Now go to activity main.xml and let's create the second text view, copy it, paste it, id xml text time and text will be time. Let's constrain it top to bottom of our date. That's OK. We have changed the constraint and now return to main activity. Let's copy this row, rename it time text view and Find XML text time. OK. And then copy the last row, rename time text view is our time format. We have a strange error. Let's rewrite it. XML text time. Let's rebuild our project to clean the error. That's OK. And now let's run our application. We have a current date and we have a current time. As with the date, we can change the display of the time. For this, copy this code and, for example, let's make the time short. Run the app and we have the new short display of the time. I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks for the watching. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day. Have a good coding and all the best.